The question that we will be addressing in this video is what essentially happens in the first half of the menstrual cycle, that is from day 0 to day 14. We know that the menstruation occurs from day 0 to about 4 to 5 days and at day 14 ovulation occurs. Now we're going to see what happens inside the ovaries during this period. With our knowledge of oogenesis, we know that when a girl is born, her ovaries contain about 400,000 primordial follicles, which are nothing but primary oocyte in the center surrounded by flat granulosa cells. Now these primary oocytes stay in their resting stage, that is the early prophase till puberty. This oocyte matures in two stages. The first stage occurs during ovulation and the next stage occurs during fertilization. Now in the beginning, two main things happen. First, there is moderate enlargement of the ovum itself, which increases in diameter twofold to threefold, which, which is followed by the growth of additional layers of the granulosa cells in some of the follic follicles. And these follicles that I've drawn here are known as primary follicles. So we know the conversion from primordial follicle to primary follicle. During the first few days of the menstrual cycle, both FSH and LH secreted by the anterior pituitaries rise slightly to moderately. And due to this rise, especially FSH, we see accelerated growth of only 6 to 12 primary follicles out of the 400,000. The initial effect is the rapid proliferation of the granulosa cells giving rise to many more layers of these cells and along with that we also see the spindle cells which are basically derived from the ovary interstitium that collect outside the granulosa cells giving rise to a second mass of cells called theca and this theca is divided into two layers the theca interna and theca externa. I'll just quickly tell you the function of the two. The theca interna cells, similar to those of granulosa cells, develop the ability to secrete additional steroid sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Outer layer, the theca externa, develop into a highly vascular connective tissue capsule that becomes the capsule of the developing follicle. Now, after a few days of proliferation, the mass of granulosa cells secrete a follicular fluid that contains a high concentration of estrogen. Now, accumulation of this fluid causes an antrum to appear within the mass of the granulosa cells. Now, this growth is stimulated by FSH alone. Greatly accelerated growth occurs, leading to a larger follicle known as graphian follicle. The causes of the accelerated growth is mentioned in the description below. Out of the six follicles that I was talking about, about in the beginning, only one follicle fully matures each month and the remainder undergoes atresia. This single follicle re reaches a diameter of 1 to 1.5 centimeters at the time of ovulation. I hope this video helped you revise whatever you've already read about or it can also be the first time you're getting to know this topic. Uh, but I would suggest a lot of reading along with watching this video as um, this is just a three minute video and I just made it so that you can get a concise idea of the topic and then you can understand your matter even better. Thank you for watching and if you would like me to make more of such videos or maybe if you want me to put in more detailed videos, let me know. Suggestions are more than welcome and if you want to stay updated, please subscribe and you can also follow my Instagram page making underscore medicine underscore interesting. Thank you.